like to say hi to everybody again. It's been a while since I've been out on the e-bike. I'm coming up on your left. Thank you. So it's been a while since I've been out on the e-bike. Um, I posted a, just a quick post with pictures of Bongo. He had passed away on April 1st. It was, a, I don't know, two or three days after his... Uh, 14th gotcha day so that really sucked um but the house was a bit too quiet so i ended up getting another dog on the 11th her name is addy um she's a pretty good dog she's still a bit of a pup a little over a year old is what they estimated um i'll try to get a picture of her in a bit the camera back there mount broke again so it's going to be a little hard to get a video of her but I will sometime soon and I'll stop and give you guys a little picture of her in the trailer she uh, she can't be in it without the top on and the front door it all zipped up pretty much because she jumps out so it's taken about a month to train her to become familiar with the, the bicycle trailer Oh, thank you. Thank you. So, it took little baby steps to get her used to it. I had to put her, put the trailer on the ground without any uh, wheels on and get her to go in with treats in and out for, I don't know, a handful of days. And then I put the wheels on and clamped the front down and then got her used to that and then I hooked it up to the bicycle got her used to that and then I kept it in the house so I would roll it back and forth inside the kitchen and got her used to that and she's still hesitant to get in on the outside because the first time I took her out I uh, the bicycle got knocked over twice and then we got rolling a little bit with the sunroof open and she jumped out so then it flipped the trailer Fortunately, we were only going like, you know, less than walking pace, so she was okay. But she was a bit hesitant to get in today, so. But I think she'll get used to it the more and more we go out. But I do want to apologize for not getting any videos out for a long time. Um, I do have some more videos of Bongo's last couple rides, but it's been a little tough trying to go through those and edit. Still not over the... Uh, emotional nature of it all so but it's a nice day out I'm not sure where we're going to go yet probably we might go up to Sheridan and back on Monon because the other day when we took a ride it was I think 45 minutes so she was okay with that she pretty much does what she does in the car is just sit there and then lays down with the phone calls. But I'm getting her trained up on walking, so I'm getting out and walking her every day. So that's been good for me and good for her. So I think they trained her a bit in the Humane Society and then she's uh i've been working on her too there's still a lot of stuff i need to work on she gets a little rim overly rambunctious when she gets overstimulated playing so i gotta get that worked out she doesn't seem to be dog aggressive or anything like that so it's good it's hard to know when you get a dog that's older and you're not familiar with them and then what their history is She seems to be a good dog. So I'm trying to think other things have happened in the past couple months, but I can't really think of any. As you can tell, I haven't been on the e-bike for a while, but, or, well, as I said. My uh, dad and stepmom did come out up from Florida, so that was nice. Got to see them a few times. 
got somebody in the way. Maybe we can get around them. I think I'll be trying to avoid the Midland Trace for a little while. I think they've got, there's a section past the Kroger going east that's uh, closed down because they're working on it, but I'm not sure exactly where. May try to figure out another day, but we'll see. So, given that it's spring into summer now, I'm going to try to get in the, the big full length rides that I wanted to do for you, the Monon from end to end and such. Maybe somehow I could get up to Kokomo and what have you to get the, uh, oh, the, can't remember the name of that trail. Hi. <laughs> Still doing okay back there. Pull over here in a minute and show you Addy for a second. Probably get up here on the section that's kind of out of the way. The on. I have noticed a lot more e-bikes are out. Of course, the weather's been a lot better, but it's nice to see a bunch of them. So hopefully, I'll see more. I know there's a few viewers that want to meet up somewhere like Carmel or over at the, uh, well, I'm having problems remembering the Nickel Plate Trail. That may actually be the other trail I was thinking up, uh, up north to the Nickel Plate. I want to do some range tests and everything like that so you people know about the Juliet. They've come out with a, a couple more versions of the Juliet and then I think another version of the Romeo. So the newer versions of the Juliet have, well, number two I think has 52 volt motor or system, battery and motors. And then the Juliet 3 has front and rear hub motors so I'm not fully up to date on what all that is so. this one does me just fine though Definitely trying to take the wide turns with her because if she hits up and moves, I'm not sure if it will flip or not. But I know the reviews of that pet trailer had said that one of their dogs had shifted and it had flipped over. But so I'll just be careful with that. Bongo is much more sedate riding. guys see Addy real quick and then cut this video short um, if you do like my videos please like and subscribe I'm gonna continue to try to make more so this is Addy she's a good girl yeah what do you think girl hmm you gonna say hi to everybody look over here hmm? yeah no stay down but anyways thank you guys and I appreciate you watching